Hello everyone, in this video I will show you our new product. As you can see, uh, this is Tuya IoT Adapt V2. We have designed this new Adapt so that you can let your King Kong A Series Bird uh, voice control by Alexa at Google Home very easily. And also the second application case that you can let your own IS485 relay board uh, connect to this Tuya Adapt so that you can use the Tuya mobile phone application and use the voice control by Alexa and Google Home. And you can see this is our Tuya Adapt V1 and this one is V2. The V2 we have designed very small. You can see only one USB port and this is IS485 interface. Later I will show you the hardware details. And the V1 is bigger. So you can see it here. And this can install on the DIN rail and have this Wi-Fi antenna. And this time we have delete the ESP32 Wi-Fi antenna extender. But you can run it on the PCB board. Later I will show you. And also this Tuya module used by Wi-Fi PCB antenna. So that you can use this one, just plug into any USB port, uh, such as your load, your compute, and your power supply, your mobile phone uh, battery change, so very easily. Okay, let's look at this hardware design details and how it works with the Tuya mobile phone application and the voice control by Google Home and Alexa. And you can see this is our web page of ESP32 Tuya Adapt V2. You can see uh, this appearance and this inside and you will see this blue module that is Tuya module and this in front and this back and this is the ESP32 chip and you can see the chip module is this module so that you can see the two mo module on the one PCB board you can see we have designed this PCB board by four PCB layer you can see the top layer, the bottom layer and the power and the ground. So this small PCB will have four layer. So that will let your system become very stable because we have used the power and the ground for different layer. And also you can see the 3D mode. You can see uh, this is in front and this is the back. And so you will see this ESP32 chip and the ESP32 work with the Tuya module. And this you can see that have IPEX socket, but the default we have not installed at this. If you really want to use the ESP32 with the Wi-Fi function, so you can wind it and so that you can use the external at here, you can use the external uh, Wi-Fi cable connect at here. So it's, it's smart. Just uh, at this place. Okay? And you can see uh, this is the Tuya mobile phone application because this module we call voice module. So if you have used the Tuya application from this device, you will see that called voice module. And it has the 32 channel switch. And because you can see this application case one, the Tuya Adapt V2 will generate 32 virtual output ports into your app application. So, because uh, that have 32 channel switch, but you can see this one have connect no any switch, no any relay, no any circuit. So just a virtual port output. So you can create in this mode. You can create this mode at to your application. You can link the switch 1 uh, to ESP32 board, uh, relay 1, and you can link the switch 2 uh, to your another ESP32 board, relay 2. So you can create 32 channel things mode uh, for yourself. So you can link the 32 channel switch to your other to your device so that you can use the voice country. So this is application case 1. And later I will show you how to step by step. And another case, this case 2, application case 2, because the module will have IS485 port. So you can see, so you can download the firmware uh, to the USB. The USB is for the communication, for download the firmware, and also it uh, gives the power supply of the adapt. 
So you can see this can download the firmware uh, for your uh, compute. And also it's, it's open source about the hardware and the software all is open source. You can see the hardware diagram you can download at here at software document in King County web page and you will find the Tuya Adapter V2 schematic. So you can click and you will see the whole uh, secret schematic. And also you will see here I have Arduino source code uh, you can in our form you can see it here uh, the Tuya Adapter V2 in King County form so you can click and you will find the Arduino source code and uh, this is source code and this is a download uh, and this is uh, details the Arduino library how to install and how to set all at here so it can modify by yourself if you want to continue your RS-45 relay you just add the code at here at here at here relay 1 uh, how to turn on and how to turn off and relay 2 how to turn on and turn off so it will be very easy so this is the case 2 that you can modify the Arduino source code you can let your RS485 device integrate to the to your application by this Adapt V2 and at here you can see this Adapt you can connect to your mobile phone a battery change uh, because it's only need uh, DC to 5 volt and almost only need 500 milliampere current so this is uh, low current and this also you can connect to your load uh, because some load will have the USB part you just connect it and you can put it in anywhere just connect the root it will be very easy okay uh, this is the schematic and I will pin define and Arduino source code in our web page you can download and the next I will show you how to step by step uh, do this way and how to let your ESP32 board and voice control by Alexa and Google Home. And if you can see it here, this is our King Kong KCS firmware. You can see uh, this is my A8 board. Actually, you can use any King Kong ESP32 board. I have already downloaded with the KCS firmware and enabled the Tuya protocol. So you can see. Uh, I have used American US uh, server location and this is my uh, Tuya license. It's working. So you can see the monitor, the Tuya is connected. Okay, let's look at how to use my mobile phone and to set and configure it. Here you can see this is my King Kony A8 board, that is 8 channel relay version. Actually, you can use any King Kony board. You can see this A4 board. Also, you can use the 8 channel, 16 channel, 32 channel, all is no problem. And this is my loader. And this is Alexa Speak. And also, you can use this. This is Google Home. And this video, I will just use Alexa for a demo and uh, how you step by step. And now you can see this is my Tuya mobile phone application. And you will see uh, this is A8. Click. And you can see. I can turn on, uh, see this really, uh, this part is working because this LED is on, you can see, LED is on. So I can use Tuya mobile phone application and control this board by Ethernet, uh, not by Wi-Fi, just by the Ethernet. This is very important because King Kony KCS firmware and use the Tuya license can work with the Ethernet, but many different products only used by Wi-Fi. So, okay. But uh, this solution can't support the voice control by the Alexa and the Google Home directly. So we have made this new solution just use the Tuya Adapter V2. And you can see uh, this is V2 and this is IS485 and this is Reset and this is the Tuya, uh, tu Tuya Reset and the ESP32 Reset. And the back and the black that is ESP32 chip. So this almost like a USB disk, but when you use it, it's very easy. Uh, if you have connect to my load, you will find I have already uh, scanned this voice module, but this is offline. So 
You can connect with any power supply, but I connect with my load will be very easy because this is a USB port and this is a USB port. And this time we can just connect with it because this just gets the power from the load, not communication with the load. And you can see uh, this is power LD and this is Tuya LD because I have already added this adapter to the Tuya mobile phone application. And you will see uh, this now you can see it online, not offline. And I can click and you will see that will generate the 32 channel switch. Uh, this is virtual switch. You can see this is switch 9. I can click on and click off. But uh, this adapt have not connect any really button, connect anyone. Don't worry. We just tell you we can create the sense mode in your mobile phone application so that you can use the Alexa. It will be very easy. So you can see, I can click this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. No anything? You can see, I can use the Alexa. Alexa, turn on switch 9. Okay. And you can see, this time we have let Alexa can connect with the Tuya mobile phone. Let switch on and switch off. Alexa, turn off switch 9. A few things share the name switch 9. Which one did you want? Switch 9. Okay. And you can see here. So now the step, we can link the Alexa with the Tuya mobile phone. So this time you can see the switch 9 have linked with the Alexa system. So this have cloud server have communication. So I just want use this button and link to this ESP32 board relay. So that means the Alexa is linked with this relay. So we can create the things mode, it's very easy. I just click things and click a things mode, you can see at here. When the device change state, at here. And if my voice module state changed and let my A8 board Relay state changed. So link these two devices by Tuya cloud server directly because this have connect with the Tuya cloud server, and this have connect with Tuya cloud server, and the Alexa system have also connect with the Tuya cloud server. So we just link all these system together. So I can click if my switch nine at here. If switch nine is on, then at the task change country single device and let this it board output one uh, because it have output one to eight channel output one become on so we can click save and click next and click save and at the name uh, I just can on one Okay, this is saved. Uh, this have create one automation. So now let's test it. So you can see at here, uh, this is my eight bar. So this is really one. Alexa, turn on switch nine. Okay. Okay, you can see the switch nine. I just, I have linked the really one. So this is on. And also I can see this voice module. And you will see the switch 9 is on. So the voice module switch 9 and linked with this switch 1. So you can link any voice module switch number uh, to any Tuya relay board uh, relay name. So that will be very easy. So you can create the second sense mode because we want let it off. So you can see I can click. Also the state changed the voice module and the switch 9. This time, if switch 9 is off, if switch 9 is off, so I want the A8 part relay 1 also is off. Control 1 single device and this relay 1 is off. And click save. Next, save. And this is off 1. Confirm. Okay, this is the second since mode have created. Let's test it. 
So you can see I can, this time I can click this voice module and I can look at it here. Alexa, turn off switch 9. Okay. Okay, you can see the switch 9 is off and the relay 1 is off. So this time you can use this voice module, you can just connect at anywhere, just have the Wi-Fi signal, you can communication with your load. And you can use the Tuya mobile phone application since mode. You can link with this module and to any other Tuya device, not only King Kong is really board. If you have also have some uh, self Tuya product, you can link it together. So that can let it become smart voice control by Alexa or Google Home. Okay, thanks for watching.